Welcome everyone. Today is the day we've been anxiously awaiting. Our CEO, Frank Vandersloot, will put the peak performance pack to the test by attempting to break the 100 meter world rowing record for his age group. And he's doing it live for the whole world to see right here in Melaleuca's fitness center at our global headquarters. Now where we stand right here, we're at an elevation of 4,744 feet. Now that's significant because if you've paid attention to the, those who hold these records, these are professional athletes typically who have been training and rowing and competing their entire lives. But when they break these world records, they almost always do it at or near sea level. So going into this, Frank's already at a disadvantage. And also today is Frank's 70th birthday. And on a day where most people like to take the day off, relax, eat some cake, Frank's here working. And he's taken some time out of his busy schedule to come attempt a new world record. Here comes Frank now. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Um, and I just want to take this moment to thank everyone who's given me such phenomenal support uh, through my entire Meluka career for the last 32 years. And I'm really appreciative for that and, and, and thank you especially for your support today. Today is my attempt to make a statement about the Peak Performance Pack. We're all familiar with the results of the Freiburg study and the Sterling study, which document the effectiveness of the peak performance pack uh, and the impact that it has in curbing free radicals. And we, we know that it's the consistent bombardment of free radicals on our bodies over time that causes us to age. Therefore, science would suggest that if we could significantly curb the impact of free radicals on our body that we could not age as quickly. Now we're not trying to live forever here. We're just trying to stay younger longer and be healthier longer. And there's evidence that that is true all around the world for everyone that's using the peak performance pack. Now I'm not a scientific study. I'm one person, and one person does not a scientific study make. Um, but all of us that are using the Peak Performance Pack can provide evidence, all of us together, all of the stories together. I have one story, I have my story. You have your story if you're using the Peak Performance Pack, and all of that evidence together can, over time, provide irrefutable evidence of the impact of the Peak Performance Pack on our health long term. Now I've been using the Peak Performance Pack since it came out four years ago and I'm no athlete. Uh, in fact I have a WANI desk job. Um, and therefore if I could compete with the strongest athletes in the world my age and beat them, I think it's substantial evidence that the Peak Performance Pack is keeping me younger longer. Um, today I'm going to try to break the world record for 70 year olds in the, um, on the stationary rower, um, I'm sorry, on, on the indoor rower on slides. There's a difference between slides and stationary rowers, which I'll get into in a second. So I'm going to try to break the record uh, for the 100 meter for 70 year olds on slides. That record is currently held, it's a world record, currently held by Frank Bertina of the Netherlands. Um, and he set that record about a year and a half ago, and no one's come close to it yet. Uh, so that's the record that I'm going to try to break. Now, the 100 meter is not an endurance event. Uh, it's over pretty quickly, 15 seconds isn't that long. Um, but the 100 meter row is simply a test of speed and strength. Leg strength, uh, arm strength, back strength, core strength. And, and that's why I've chosen it um, as my first attempt at a world record here uh, at, at this age. So. Um, we all know 
that aging causes us to lose muscle mass. It's, it, aging causes us to weaken over time. And so I think this is the, 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 the exact event that I should try to prove that I'm staying younger longer through the peak performance pack. Um, I've announced that if I fail, I'll resign. Uh, in fact, I'll keep that promise. If I fail to break the world record today, uh, I'll uh, resign before this month is over. Um, yeah, tying the record won't count today. I've got to beat and set a new record. Um, but if I break that record, I think it's pretty good evidence that the peak performance pack is uh, keeping me younger and uh, I'll be good for another decade or so. So um, uh, let's get started. This is the Concept 2 rower. Um, this is, uh, as I mentioned, this is a Concept 2 rower on slides. Notice it goes, um, it's, 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 it's similar, it's much more similar uh, to being on the water than the stationary rower. The, in, in the world uh, of uh, indoor rowing, there are two world records for uh, every event, and there are lots of events. We're just going to do the 100 meter row today. Um, but each of these events has a world record for both the, the, the rower on slides and the stationary rower. The stationary rower is more like you're sitting solid on the ground, and this is more like being uh, on the water. So each Concept 2 rower has a computer here that's attached to the flywheel, and it measures every pull, the length and strength of, uh, of the pull, the speed at which you're rowing, uh, and it, it times the distance of the entire event in, uh, and, and the speed in tenths of a second. So we've connected this computer with another computer. We've downloaded an app, and you can do this at your home if you have a Concept2 rower. It's called RowPro, and in this computer, this, this computer will appear at the bottom right-hand side of your screen to make, make it a little more interesting so you can kind of watch how we're doing against the world record. Um, and so that'll appear there. This, this screen will have two boats in it. Uh, one is my boat. I'm the green guy in the and the green boat in, uh, and the uh, the other boat is programmed to to travel at the world record pace. So Kevin's going to uh, explain a little bit more on what to look for on your screen in the right hand bottom corner. So go ahead, Kevin, tell him. Now you're going to have to be paying close attention because this is going to be over very quickly. 15 seconds is not a long time. Now, as Frank mentioned, this is connected to his rower, and we'll see stroke by stroke exactly how Frank, he's here in green, in the green boat, we'll see how he performs up against the blue boat. The blue boat is the world record pace. So this boat will finish the 100 meter race in 15.3 seconds. So we're going to want to watch Frank get out ahead and stay ahead to beat the world record. Now down here you see a few numbers. This shows how many meters is left in the race, and right here is the pace. Now the pace is going to show every pull that Frank does exactly where he's at. We're going to want to see his first pull at 152 or lower. His second pull needs to be at 128 or lower. And then after that, we need to see three consecutive pulls at least of 111 or lower if he's going to stay on track to beat the world record here today. Now as soon as we're done, the final official number will pop up right here on the screen. We'll announce it, we'll zoom in, and see exactly where he ended up. So with that, Frank, I think we're all set. Thanks, Kevin. So um, we're going to do this in just a second. So um, it, the first row is always the most important row. So it takes me a little bit to get my composure and, and to focus on that. It's like jumping off a cliff for me since uh, everything's timed in tenths of a second. So everyone's got to be uh, just exactly right to pull this off. So if you'll give me just a minute so uh, I can focus for a second and uh, and uh, we'll start in just uh, just a minute. Give me a minute. Long pulse. Long pulse. Long pulse.
am blown away. I don't know what to say. Well, it looks like I'm, looks like I'm going to be around another 10 years. But I'd like to say, we all have a story. Everybody that's taken the Peak Performance Pack has a story. You have your own story. We'd like to collect your story and add them all together. And over time, we'll have some irrefutable evidence about the power of this phenomenal product. Um, if you are uh, already take the Peak Performance Pack, I'd, I'd suggest you get down to your uh, CrossFit gym, your local CrossFit gym. They'll have a roar like this. and. Uh, and do some different events and, and time yourself. Take a little card, you can get a little card and you stick it in the computer, you, you'll have that record forever. You can buy these things for a little over 900 bucks and, and track your time. <laughs> and you don't have to, you can go down to your CrossFit gym and do it, but uh, <laughs> record your time and watch yourself improve. If you're not taking the peak performance pack, I'd, I'd, I'd like to make this statement. You should consider doing that, and before you do though, Go take, get a copy of the Freiburg study. Look at all of the markers that they tested uh, on the, those, uh, uh, those folks that were in that study and run, run your own test. Go down to your doctor's office and have him run the very same tests, test the very same markers. And so you've got a starter point before you start taking it. And then after you've taken it for, uh, let's say 14 weeks or so, go back and test again and you can see your own improvement. And then, you, then you'll have your own story. But while you're at it, uh, I suggest that the reason I like this Concept 2 rower is because it measures everything. You can, you, if you want to compete against yourself, it doesn't really matter where you start. You don't have to start at the top. You start wherever you are. You could be in the bottom 10% of people your age, but you could at least measure where you are and know where you are and then watch yourself improve over time. Um, the Peak Performance Pack by itself will do you a lot of good, but Peak Performance Pack with some exercise will do you a lot more good. So um, get down there, take the measurements, uh, record those, keep your own record, and create your own story, uh, and let us know about it. It's time people, time people learned about the Peak Performance Pack. Thanks for tuning in today.